So this is part B. So we're told to solve this non-homogeneous differential equation using the variation of parameters. So as usual, we know that the general form should be y equals yc plus yp. So I'm going to start by solving. So I want to solve for solve for yc. To solve for yc just simply implies solving the associated homogeneous differential equation. So I want to solve y prime prime plus 3y prime plus 2y equals 0. And then to solve this, the very first thing you need to do is find the auxiliary equation, which is m squared plus 3m plus 2 equals 0. And then when we solve this, we have m equals minus 1. That's your m1 and your m2 equals negative negative 2. Now since the two of them are distinct, so that implies that my yc equals c1 e to the power minus x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x. So this is my yc. So the next step is I want to find yp. So solve for y yp. Now how then do I solve for yp? So we said that for the the variation of parameters method it says that the assumed form for yp is just similar to this except that the the parameters here they are constant but for the particular solution the parameters are functions of x in other words they are variation of parameters they are the variation of the parameters of the the complementary function so i'm going to write u1 then e to the power minus x plus u2 e to the power minus 2x. So instead of a constant now, so my u1 here and u2 here, they are functions of x. So it's just for simplicity that I just represented them with just u1 and then and u and u2. So where we said in the last video that u1 equals, as the derivative of u1 equals w1 all over w, and then u2, the derivative is w2 all over w. So let's go ahead and find w. So we said w is the run scan of the two linearly independent functions that we have here. So that's e to the power minus x and e to the power minus 2x. So that will be e to the power minus x, e to the power minus 2x. And when we find derivative of this, we have minus e to the power minus x. And here we have minus 2e to the power minus 2x. So on doing that, then this times this minus this times this, that gives us minus e to the power minus 3x. And then we said to find w1 and w2, we need to first ensure that the differential equation is in standard form. That is, the coefficient of the highest derivative, which is y prime prime. Is it 1? The coefficient is 1. So since it's 1, I can go ahead and choose the right hand side to be my f of x. So my w1 is just going to be, so that one says that w1, the column 1 should be replaced with 0 f of x. And my f of x, my f of x there is 1 all over 1 plus e to the power x. Then we continue by writing the remainder which is e to the power. So we leave the second column the way it is e to the power minus 2x minus 2 e to the power minus 2x. Then this times this gives me 0 minus this times this. So which gives me minus e to the power minus 2x divided by 1 plus e to the power x. So this is my w1. So the same thing holds for for w2. So for w2, so we could still do the same thing. This is w2. So we we'll leave 1 the way it is. So we we'll leave column 1 the way it is, which is e to the power negative x and minus e to the power negative x. But w2 is annihilated and replaced with what we have here. So that's 0, 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power x. 
So this is what we have. And then we find it when we find the determinant of this that's this times this minus this times this, what we'd have is e to the power negative x divided by one plus e to the power x. So I'll be able to find w one and then and w two. So with that I can find my u one and u two using the formulas that we're given above there. So therefore my u one which is equal to or the derivative of u one which is w one all over w implies that u one equals the integral of w one. My w one is this. So that is minus e to the power minus two x divided by one plus e to the power x times w. My w is minus e to the power negative three x times minus e to the power negative three x dx. So when we simplify this, all we would have is so minus minus so we have e to the power x divided by one plus e to the power x dx. So since the derivative of what we have here gives me this, so this implies that this is going to be the ln of one plus e to the power e to the power x. That's what we have for u one. Then so this implies and also u2 prime equals w2 all over w and at w so this implies if the derivative gives me this then that means u2 itself should be the integral of w2 my w2 is e to the power negative x divided by 1 plus e to the power x divided by w so our w is um, What's the name? Minus e to the power negative three um, e to the power negative three x. So, and then this is going to be the integral of so let's put that the x here. So it's going to be the integral of when we bring um, e to the power negative three x when we bring it up. So what we we'll have is minus e to the power this times e to the power three x divided by 1 plus e to the power um, x dx so that that's that's exactly what we have and then let's let's continue here there's no more routines up there so you have minus e to the power 2x divided by 1 plus e to the power x dx and that's what we have now this is the same thing as what you have what you have here is the same thing as minus e to the power x into e to the power x plus 1 plus e to the power x so when you expand this you still have e to minus e to the power 2x so this divided by 1 plus e to the power x divided by 1 plus e to the power x all dx now one thing we observe is this crosses this so we are left with the integral of minus e to the power x plus the integral of e to the power x divided by 1 plus e to the power x dx. So since the, the integral of e to the power x is still going to give me minus e to the power x, and then since when you differentiate this you have e to the power x, so this is going to give me plus the ln of 1 plus e to the power e to the power x. So I have been able to find a value for u2 and and u1 so since I have my u2 and u1 I'm going to substitute them into here and here so I'm making the substitution my yp becomes u1 as e to the power minus x into my newly found um, my u1 which is up that is um, the lean of 1 plus e to the power x plus e to the power negative 2x into and this is the newly found um, u2 which is minus e to the power x plus ln of 1 plus e to the power x 1 plus e to the power x yep
so this is my yp and then we know that since we already have our yc so the general solution the general solution is yc plus yp so our yc our yc is c1 this is our yc here i can't remember that so this is our yc so which is what i'm going to write right now so our yc is c1 times e to the power negative x plus c2 e to the power negative 2x plus our yp I'm just writing the whole thing so that you should know that this is exactly what you expected to give as your solution and not just yp 1 plus e to the power x plus e to the power negative 2x into minus e to the power x plus lean of 1 plus e to the power 1 plus e to the power x now this whole thing here is the general solution of the proposed non-homogeneous differential equation